Hey guys, welcome back to Raising the Rogers Homestead. This is part two of our chicken processing video. And today we are in the kitchen and we're gonna take you through the steps that we do as far as processing our chicken all the way down into packages. Processing chickens for us is generally a two day process. We will kill, put in the cooler, leave it in the cooler for roughly 24 hours. Uh, and then after you get everything cleaned up and make sure everything is good for the next day, we'll get a good night's sleep because we're generally pretty wore out after processing all those chickens. And then we will bring everything inside. And I just wanted to show you guys that. So the very first thing we'll do is we will take a chicken out of the cooler and we will weigh it and we'll keep up with our weights all the way through. That way we can average everything out and we'll share that with you guys at the end. All right guys, the first bird is five pounds, four ounces. So that's pretty good to start out. And we'll move on to the next step. Real quick guys, I wanted to show y'all how I break down these chickens. So I use a Rhino Rito knife. Uh, it's mainly just the black and blue that you're looking for. It's gotta be blue and black with the black blade. It doesn't have to be Rhino Rito, that's just the one that I use. But basically what I'll do is start right here in the middle and you wanna cut right down that uh, breastbone and then that way you can flay everything up. And so here, let me show you. You start right here, then boom, you're done, that's it. It's the blue and the black. Like I said, Rhino Rito, doesn't have to be that, just blue on the bottom, black on the top. All right guys, so the way that I do this is we like the boneless, skinless chicken breasts, the uh, skinless leg thigh quarters, and then we'll leave the skin on the wings. So this is the way I do it. Just a, a sharp knife, a good fillet knife or whatever. And I'll start right here down the center and just barely score that skin so that you're not cutting into the meat too much. And you just reach in there and you peel this skin completely back. And then once you get the skin pulled back, then you've got the, uh, the breastbone that runs right down the center of it. You wanna cut on both sides of that. So I'll start right here. And you can fill it with your finger on both sides right there. So you take your knife and basically you just follow that breastbone all the way down, just staying as close as you can, peeling it back all at the same time. So just a little bit at a time, all the way down through here. Breast number one, set that down. All right, breast number two. Now next what I'll do is take this skin and peel it all the way back on both sides. And expose that leg thigh quarter on both sides. Then what I'll do if this will cooperate with me, is I will take this, peel it all the way back, and try to take it off kind of like a sock. That way you get your skin off all the way across that leg thigh quarter. Then same thing on the other side. And then we'll take that on the back side, and peel it all the way back. Now for these leg thigh quarters, what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna push this down on both sides and it'll dislocate this hip joint right here. And that's where you wanna run your knife is right up underneath there. So you just push down on it and you'll hear it. And then you'll expose that hip joint right there. And when you wanna take your knife and just run it right in between that hip joint all the way down, nice, clean, like that. And then for the wings, we always leave the skin on, but if you take these wings, you can feel a joint where they kind of move up here. 
you want to run your knife right through that joint right there. So the way I do it is I kind of let gravity work for me and I'll go from the back and you just want to find that joint and right off she goes. Gives you a clean flat and drum. All right, so we got the, the carcass. We still got the skin on it. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll pull that skin all the way off. And we actually save that and cook it up and we use it as dog food. Now what you got left is your carcass. Now this carcass has still got some meat on it. There's a little bit right there. I'm not a professional butcher. So there's a little bit right there. There's some back here on the back of it. A little bit left here on the breast. Not much at all. But you'd be surprised. We'll take these and we will boil these down and uh, get all that meat off of them. And we'll also make chicken stock out of it. And you'd be surprised how much meat you can actually get off of these. If you have, you know, maybe five or 10 of them or so, you can actually get quite a bit of meat off of it. Something that we learned uh, whenever we started processing our own chickens a couple years ago is if you go to the restaurant or a restaurant and you order chicken tenders, it is not just cut up chicken breast. There is actually a chicken tender on a chicken breast. If you go to the store, these have already been removed. So I don't know who else knew this, but I didn't. So I was just gonna show you that. So this is your, your breast that sits on the front of the chicken, kind of like that. If you flip it over, this right here, up underneath it, this right here is actually a chicken tender. And it comes off real easy but that's the actual chicken tender. It lays up underneath the breast. So most of the time we leave these on uh, packaging. Uh, sometimes we'll remove them and we'll just have chicken tenders. All right, guys, well, this is your chicken all cut up, your wings, your breast, and your leg thigh quarters. You can always separate your leg thigh quarters if you wanted to, uh, but this is generally how we pack it and how we put it in the freezer. The way that we like to package these is two breasts, per bag and two leg thigh quarters per bag. And they will get labeled, date, dated, and weighed. And we will vacuum seal them and they will be ready to go in the freezer. All right guys, that's pretty much it for the inside stuff. Uh, we still have to boil the carcasses and uh, get the meat off of them, but I'm going to get started on the rest of these chickens. I just want to show you guys this real quick. It's pretty simple stuff, guys. Uh, it's really easy to raise your own meat if you actually set your mind to it and want to do it. Um, but we will get the rest of these chickens done and then boil our carcasses and then we'll let you know what our final weight is. All right, guys, we're fixing to put our chicken carcasses into the pot and we're gonna go ahead and boil them down and I'll show you guys that process and how all that works. I'm gonna put these chicken carcasses in one at a time. You just gotta kind of be easy with them just simply because you do have boiling water in here. So just one at a time, probably gonna do four to five, however many will fit and then we're gonna let them boil. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the pot and then we're just gonna put them into a bowl and let them cool until we can handle them.
All right, guys, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start picking these apart. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set a bowl on a scale, go ahead and zero it out, and just show you how much you actually get off of just five carcasses doing this. All right, guys, just gonna set this bowl on there. You see that bowl weighs about seven ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and zero that out and get started. One point three three pounds. All right, guys. One point three pounds. I know that's not a lot, but that's just off of five carcasses, and we will do that with the rest of the carcasses. And that meat is great for a ton of things, super quick suppers and things like that. Throw it in the freezer, put it in a saucepan or whatever, and it's ready to go. I don't do much cooking, so I don't really know what it's for, but that's what my wife says. So. Uh, but anyway, with that being said, I wanted to uh, make sure and tell you guys what our average was. So we averaged right at five pounds per bird. Our biggest bird was five pounds, 12 ounces, I think. So almost six, a six pound bird. The smallest bird that we did today was four pounds. All right, guys, it's getting a little bit late for us. Uh, we still have chores to do. I still have to drive into town and upload this video because we do not have internet. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to thank you guys for stopping by today and checking out part two. Uh, if you could, please like our channel and subscribe to our channel. We're still trying to grow this thing. We're making some decent progress, but we need you guys to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and go and check out our Facebook page as well. All right, guys, we will see you on the next 